Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Champ. I am back with another fabulous video. And today, I'm actually gonna teach you something that I am so proud of and so happy to share with you guys. I'm gonna teach you guys my secrets to having clear skin. Look at that, look at that. Okay, this is something I have worked on for so long. I have struggled with acne for many different reasons, and we'll get to that, but I've struggled with acne for years. Um, dark spots, pimples, you know, my skin so they'd be red, and then leave a dark spot underneath, like, ugh, just terrible. So I finally, out of my entire life, I think this is the best that I have ever had my skin looking. So now I'm gonna show you guys what I do to get clear skin. Okay, so, the first thing about having clear skin is that you have to get in a routine every day and no skipping. So what I'm going to encourage you guys to do is to get a to-go bag that you can bring with you anywhere if you're staying the night out, if it's gonna be a long night and maybe you need a little wash in between, you know, whatever you're doing, if you're sweating, coming from the gym and you can't go home, have a to-go bag. This is mine. I actually got this, I believe at Ulta. I don't know what I bought, some makeup, some something. But you can get something at Target, anything small. Just a little zip. Keep all of your skincare products separate from makeup or anything else. Separate from makeup and hair, especially. Because that stuff can clog your pores. Inside of my to-go bag, I have a... A little container of my face lotion that I use and I actually bought this container at a beauty supply store but you can get little plastic containers anywhere at Target Walmart beauty supplies and what I do is I actually fill mine on my own full of whatever I'll need so I might have one with some like lip Vaseline I'll have one with my face oil and if I have any medicine from the dermatologist it will be in here as well now, let's get to my actual skincare routine. The first thing I do at night with my skincare routine is take off my makeup. Like I said, it's so important to have a routine. You cannot skip any days, ever, okay? So if you sleep with your makeup on one time, listen, literally one time and my face is messed up for two, three days. Why even live like that? So the first thing I do is I take off my makeup with a makeup removing wipe and it is right now i'm using oil free neutrogena the grapefruit one okay i've also in the past used burt's bees with micellar water that one works really good for me as well now if you're doing this it depends on what you're doing if you have like a lot of gel on your hair you might want to tie it down use a scarf or whatever you want tie it down so that you don't mix water and you know cleansing products with gel but the first thing that I do is I use the wipe. have any makeup on because it was like also I take off my earrings you guys because you don't want to like mess them up but I didn't actually have any makeup on because I'm so proud of my skin right now it's looking so good I'm so happy I got this under control but yeah so I wipe that make sure you get your neck all of that you're also wipe make sure you get like along your hairline because you could also when you sweat throughout the day you leak hair products under your face and that can cause a lot of acne so do that, throw it away. Next, I wash my skin with a Dove Sensitive Skin Soap Bar, which I always keep in a soap bar container for traveling. Next, I take the soap bar and mix it with the water, obviously. <laughs> and then I rub it in circular motions all over my entire face, making sure that I do not miss a single spot. Next, I rinse my face with water and then I dry it using a towel and when I dry it I use a soft patting motion and a soft rubbing motion. You want to be careful with your skin and treat it just like silk. Now I'm using Burt's Bees eye cream for sensitive skin. 
I just do a little bit, you don't need too much. On the finger. And I just put it underneath my eyes. I also go kind of on the top and get around there. And for me, like one thing about keeping my skin clear was that I had to make sure I wasn't using stuff with too many products, too many oils, just like really natural stuff. That's why I often go for stuff for sensitive skin because it doesn't have a any type of fragrance and it usually doesn't cause me to break out. Next, I put on my moisturizer. I really love the Cetaphil Pro Restoraderm Eczema Smoothing Moisturizer. And I don't really have eczema, I don't think, but sometimes my skin will really get itchy and I will get a rash, so maybe it is eczema, I don't know. But like I said, I just tend to go towards skincare products that are for sensitive skin and things like that. So, just a little bit, not too much. I really use this mostly just on my face. And you guys, this is just what I do. This might not work for everyone. I always make sure that I'm doing this every single day. I also, once a week, will do a face mask. I have two face masks that I really like, and one of them is Coco Kind. I just do it twice. Um, I'd say once a week, so four times a month. And it really just keeps my skin moisturized, keeps it glowing the way that it is. And there's two more things I wanna to talk to you about. Exfoliation is key. I use an exfoliating brush. When I wash my face, I don't do it every single day because sometimes it causes me to break out or my skin to be dry and start to peel, which you don't want. And I also do that or I will do circles lightly with a washcloth. This gets rid of dead skin, makeup that's stuck in pores, and it just keeps your skin looking even all over. It really helped me with dark spots. Last but certainly not least, what I do is I sleep with a, a silk pillowcase. This is great for your hair and it is great for your skin. Keeps it looking nice and shiny. Oh, and one more thing I cannot forget, make sure whenever you go out, you are using a sunscreen. You have no idea how important this is with keeping your skin soft, wrinkle-free, and also helping with the dark spots as well. If you're tanning those dark spots, they're only gonna get darker. Right now I am using the sunscreen from Kylie Skin. I like it because it has no flashback. A lot of times on African-American skin, and maybe white skin too, I don't know but it will give you a flash when you take a picture and you'll look type ghostly, which is not what we want. Put a little bit of sunscreen and I make sure I reapply throughout the day. Other than that, the most important thing for having clear skin is just making sure that you're not around anyone who stresses you out. That was a huge thing. As soon as I stopped hanging out with my ex, no offense, my skin cleared up. Look at it. And if you saw it then, whoo. Anyways, drink water, don't be around people that stress you out, stick to your routine, and never sleep with your makeup on. And you will have clear skin like the champ. Okay.